Hello everybody. Um, I want to take a minute make a quick video to showcase the 210 and 182 RG console I came up with. Um, after a few modifications, I think I posted a video about a movable one. That's on hold for right now. This one was uh, designed um, based off a 182 RG and a 210 turbo dimensions and a 210 pressurized. So it fits all three. A um, couple of features, uh, again, the leather armrest uh, mounts to here. It is adjustable on these slots here, so it would be able to slide up and down. So I'm gonna take that off to kind of talk about uh, the rest of the console. I do have a few RAM mounts bolted on. Um, we'll talk about those later here in a second. But the cup holder, um, so you would have right here, you would have your uh, emergency gear handle. And initially, and it still has the whole pattern if you wanted to bolt it on. What I did is I put this on a rail and put this aluminum T-handle right here. So if you needed to get at your gear handle and for that situation, instead of sl you could slide the whole console back out of the way. It'll slide back to the rear seats just fine. Or you can just pull up, get rid of your cup holder, give it to your co-pilot, throw it in the back, give it to a passenger, what have you, and just slide it back into place. It's keyed. So there you go. Um, I think it's a little easier. Uh, gives you a couple different options to get this out of the way in case you do need to use your gear handle. And so as we're talking about the front here, um, you'll see there's a, a bolt or hole pattern. Um, that's again to bolt on really whatever. Uh, the the aluminum uh, T-channel to whatever accessories maybe come up with in the future or you want to uh, bolt a piece of T-channel to whatever you want and you have the option to. Um, here we have a ram mount. Um, so what I did was, I'm going to open the lid. Actually, I'll show you the... On top of the lid, you have it here. And this is the uh, a couple different hole patterns. Uh, they're universal hole patterns, very popular amongst ram mounts and other accessories. You got the four hole and the three hole pattern. So that's laser cut in the top here, obviously where this ram mount is, and you could put whatever or not use it. Um, if you wanted to, you can notice the lid is up with this ram mount in use. What you would do is unbolt the lid uh, from the hinge flip it over so that this is now facing up um, and you'd be able to close the lid and then also it's how you would grab the lid to open it up and down and so also on the back especially for the um, your rear passengers you, know, you have the fire extinguisher mount right here you can take that on leave it off but you also have a ram mount pattern here in the back um, I just have a little arm on here you could, you know, they make 36 inch arms that come out. So whatever you want to do gives you an option. So you have that whole pattern, the two whole patterns on the front, excuse me, on the top, on the rear. Uh, at the bottom here, this square tube opening is where an O2 tank would go. Um, it's a little bit smaller, and we'll talk about the, the size differences, than the 182 straight tail, or uh, straight leg, sorry version and that's because there's less room between the seats on a 210 um, and also to, especially 210 pressurized but then it also has for your o2 lines uh, the cannulas it, it routes internal so they would come up um, and come in the bottom here and then they come out if you can see right here right uh, below your uh, cup holder and they would come up to your co-pilot and to the pilot and so it gets uh, you know you're not snagging um, those lines on your seats you can also run them on top of this little shelf here however you want to do it, it gives you two options so that's the 210 uh, and 182 RG model and I happen to have the normal 182 model and you can see the size difference so those you go hey can i fit one 
I want a bigger one. Um, oh, let me go with the 182. Well, it does not fit. Um, the 182 straight leg is four inches longer. Um, they're both the same height. And it's also a little bit wider. As you can see, it holds a bigger O2 tank. Um, and that's because of the space between the 182 seats that the 210 does not have. Um, so these are the two models. And obviously on the 182 uh, straight leg, you don't have the gear handle problem. So you have a different cup holder set up. Same, fits the same size cup holders. You still get four holes for pens. But again, this one quickly removes in the event of emergency. So, and it's also a little bit smaller profile and that's for uh, the pressurized guys that have to have their passenger climb in uh, through the pilot door. It just gets rid of those, a uh, little bit of the edges sticking out and makes it a little bit more accessible. So, and on this one, you can see the lid is bolted on uh, with the lip flipped up. So that's what that would look like. And again, if you imagine this is a shorter armrest, your armrest on here, you would just grab it. You could, you know, if this is bolted on, you could lift up the armrest and lift the lid or grab it. So two different options, depending on what types of mounts you want to run or how many, you can run all three uh, mounts and get really crazy with it. So appreciate your time and uh, checking out the video. Message me, message me if you have any questions. Happy to answer them or any feedback. I'd appreciate it. Thanks.